Hey Chad, so this will be the practice plan tonight. The first part is real simple. Um, just let the kids get warmed up, put a, put a goalie in each corner, and um, you know, I would even keep the nets, uh, we can just kind of keep the nets up here and out of the way. But they're just gonna go around in a circle, and the kids are just making passes across the ice to each other. They can hit the goalies, the goalies can pass back. I want them to catch it and pass back, not just one touch it, so they're actually getting their head up and looking where the player stick um, stick positioning is and then after two and a half minutes they're just going to go the opposite direction around the other way um, making passes make sure they're catching on their backhand um, if they're going on that side and we're trying to put pucks in front we had a lot of passes last game where we put pucks behind guys um, the first uh, part of practice after that we'll split into two groups a, a strong group and a weak group this will be the first drill in the zone, it's just a four on two quick regroup. So two forwards and two D trying to regroup with each other against four checkers. So obviously if they can you know, they can use the weak side of the ice, if the forwards cheat and take away the D, use the weak side, but they have to go back and forth with the D. Um, the second station, we're gonna have a net here and a net here. And if Parker's here, he's not really doing one on one work with the goalie, he's just working with the goalies throughout practice because I haven't heard from them. But either way, what we'll do on, on this side is we're just going to have um, a forward with his eyes facing the net, a D with his eyes facing the net. Goalie is going to be down with his paddle down. Next player in line is just going to pass a puck through the, the two players' legs. Once it hits the goalie's paddle, this forward can activate and try to score a goal. This D is not allowed to touch the puck until the forward touches the puck. So they have to box out the forward, get into his hands, and um, if they're not allowed to smack the puck away. Once they get this puck, they can skate it out and make a pass to this line to end the drill, or they can just skate it out. On this side, you know, you're gonna go four minutes of each. So on this side, what's gonna happen is you're just gonna have a line here, a line here, a forward, and a D. Sorry, that's a bad F. Um, goalie soft little these on the command these two players can start to battle for position soft little shot on net um, forward is trying to get in and bang home a rebound right D is trying to cover it right or get it back to the um, get, get it to the goalie or give it back to the forward and then quickly after the pucks either frozen the D knocks it out our goal is scored this player is going to throw a little muffin on that not hard shots just like sauces on the goalies pads um, and you know these players can work on their skills too. You tell the goalie if he can cover it cover it uh, this player might need to get a stick on it might need to try to redirect but just trying to battle for position in front and I want our forwards to try to box out the D don't let the D get in front of you where they can block shots so that'll be the first uh, two drills um, that we start with that'll go for 21 minutes because we're doing each station for eight minutes and then the circle passing is five minutes the next is just a breakout series so we're just gonna do two phases of this sorry my marker is getting bad so we're gonna have a net here and a net here and I'll just draw this on one side but we'll have D in front and then we will have forwards here and on the, the first phase is real simple um, you're just going to chip a puck in or you can even have the D chip it in so you can kind of watch the D is going to chip it in get to the puck and rim it this player is simulating a weak side winger he's getting to the wall and he's going to try to come down on an angle so he's got to hustle and come down on this puck so tell the D not to crank it and he's just getting his stick against the boards to create a redirect to this player who's our center who should be you know opening up for the D but also staying below the puck so he can catch this with speed um, a lot of times our forwards are getting beat down the wall and we're not able to either make a bump play or a redirect pass and I think we need good support from the center so if there is a parallel passing option we can just redirect out the boards have them get their stick on the boards so they can make that um, straight pass out and then after that is made this this after that pass is made this for this center hopefully is going to pick up the puck he's going to come wide this player 
all right, after he makes a chip, is not coming all the way down here, but he's tight turning, getting up the ice. They're going to regroup with each other, crisscross, come back in the zone. This D that made the, the initial um, rim is coming out. He's got to get to the top of the circle or the blue line, depending on where the forward's at, and, and back off. And all we want on these drills on both sides is um, whoever has the puck, they can make a quick pass early. If that pass isn't an option early, then we are looking to shoot low on net, and this player is looking to drive the net, and we're looking to bang home rebounds, get both players to the net, and get a little bit dirty and try to score some re rebound goals this practice. The next phase of this is we're going to put a D here, and here's a net. Same play now. Actually, I'm sorry. Start with the D up here. That are they're going to activate and pretend like they're a, they're a pinching D. So our forward here, center, and then your D, and same thing on uh, on this side. So you're just going to chip a puck. D does the same thing, gets it, rims it. Now this forward has to beat the D, who is pinching. What we want on this is we want the forward to recognize where the D's angle. If the D is coming straight to the puck, right? Well, then the forward might just need to go and lift a stick, and it's out of the zone. That's fine. If the D is coming behind the forward and the forward can get body position, then we it's okay if we come down and catch it here as long as we box out and we have an option to bump this back to the D. So on this phase, what's going to happen is, you know, what we want to try to simulate and tell the players is, you know, we want this D to pressure, but let's try to get the forward, you know, coming down and really boxing out that D and bumping it to this D who rimmed, who's going to get his feet up the ice, who's going to bump it here, and then this D is going to hit the centerman who's timing it, right? He's not getting too close, but he's going to time it and stay wide. Bump, pass. As soon as this, um, as soon as this D makes the pass, then he's going to go regroup, and this and this D that pinched is just going to back off, gap up, and play the two on one. The forward that made the play. Um, that does the bump to the D, he can just go to the net and stand in front of the net for a screen and hopefully get a rebound goal. So it's really a, it's really a three-on-one cheating with a forward in front. So um, just to try to work on our forwards getting in front of the net, take away the goalie's eyes. I want them screening the goalie even on a, if it's on a rush. I don't want the players to stop. I want this to be a rush, right, where the D's joining. We're just working on hitting the net for a rebound. The other player is crashing. Like I said, if they can make a pass weak side right away, that's fine. But we don't want to get down here where we're not moving our feet and try to make a, a hope pass because um, we're not going to score many goals that way. The next uh, phase of practice is just uh, a lot of shots here. And we're going to do um, three different variations of this. So I'm going to draw it up here. The first phase is a a point shot with a battle. So in each circle, we're going to do this on both sides of the ice, so you can keep the nets where they're at. We're going to have a defensive forward here, a D here, a D and forward in front of the net, and a forward in the corner. This forward is passing out. As soon as he passes, this D, as soon as this uh, D touches the puck, this forward is going to activate. This D has two options. He can walk hard and get a shot to the net, Okay, this forward and D need to be moving. I don't want this forward just standing. I don't want, sorry, there's a glare there. I don't want this forward just standing still. He needs to be getting body position on this D, trying to get in front of him so the D can't front the puck, right? And that way, if, if a pass comes at soft, our forward can stop it and shoot it at the net rather than, you know, Homestead getting in front of us and, and blocking it. So this forward's got to learn how to work hard. And obviously, if this D is pushing him way out here and getting him in front of him out here, then this forward should just pop out close to the net and we can just make a pass. So the D's pushing you all the way out, then don't stand next to him. Get down here and get open. Um, and this forward obviously is tracking up. If this D does make the pass, this forward needs to attack with speed and look to get a shot and I want this forward in front of the net. All right, we gotta be men at some point. They're gonna get hit with some pucks, but they gotta learn to stay in front of the net have this player shoot for a rebound. He's not trying to go bar down. The second, um, the second phase of this is just a D give and go. So we're going to do that same 
we're going to do that same um, play. Now we're just going to start here, forward, defensive forward, D and forward. On this one, what's going to happen is we're going to pass to the D. The D is going to allow this player to come out. So he's still going to move, right? But he's setting this D up, or this winger up for failure. We're going to pass here, and when the winger gets out, you're cutting through here. This forward is going to quickly just touch it back to the D and area pass. And now this D is going to walk in and shoot. This forward is in front of the net. So this is just you know trying to tell our D we don't always have to stay on the blue line. If there's a if there's a Dwanger winger here, right, and they're staying on us, and we've got the puck here, blow by him into this soft spot, and we can hit you for a pass, right? So just some uh, basic concepts that we need to work on to try to create more offense. And then um, the last one is um, we're going to do the same thing. And we just want same thing. Pass, walk. This time, right, this player is going to come straight out. And we're trying to give it back to this player every single time on the wall. So it's just a walk the seam play. So actually in that first phase, I said they could go to the seam. Why don't we just do, um, on the first phase, the D is going to walk out and shoot. This player does the same thing. He times it, and then after the shot comes down for a second rebound. On the third phase, we, you know, we're hitting the half wall, and he's coming in for a shot. So there's three different phases. A D shot, a D give and go, and then a D hits the half wall player. And remember, this player needs to have speed. He can't get up here too fast and be stopped. He wants to get this puck and be ready to move his feet right we need to be moving our feet as we get the puck the, um, we're going to finish with a game and uh, how it's going to work is just we'll have a net here and a net here and it's going to be two x's two o's and then we'll have um, an x d here <clears throat> and an x um, forward here. Then we'll have an O forward and an O D. No pun intended. And then we'll just have, um, so we'll have an X defensive player and then an O defensive player. So this player has to be a defensive player. This player has to be a defensive player. These players up top have to be offensive on the blue line. These players have to be offensive behind the net. So you're just going to chip a puck in. So there's 10 players involved. These players can go anywhere. They're rovers. Okay. If X's get it, they can either pass to their point player. right? Once that pass is made, this player can activate and shoot out to the point. So the D has to get up, and he's looking to block a shot or pressure. right? Um, he can only pressure this D. So as soon as that pass is made, right, he can sprint out. So what we need is support. We need this player to move east and west, okay? And then um, what we want is this player can only pop out here, but X is trying to score a goal on this side. If O's get the puck, right, they can move it to their O defensive or O offensive player, or they can move it to their um, offensive player below the net. Now, if they move it, so let's say the O's pass to the player behind the net, this player has to come out the weak side of the ice. Okay, now he can come out. Hopefully we have an O that's in front of the net. Hopefully we have a, a high option, but this offensive player can also pass all the way to the D, right? At that point, this player then can come out. He can only activate if this D touches the puck, right? So um, I do want these players, right, to support the puck. I don't want them standing behind the puck. So let's say the X's get it over here. I want them to pop out. If we make a pass down, I want them to get the weak side. And I'm okay with this player coming out a little bit and trying to jam it, but I don't want them to come out way up top and make it like a three on two situation um, out, out here. That's unrealistic. Just a quick jam play is okay. Um, you know, so we can have a net front presence and then we can have a high option. And obviously if this weak side player is coming out, this D needs to get over in this passing line. So 
a fun little game. Um, obviously, 10 players are going at once. Keep track of score, make it competitive. But really the focus is for tonight, getting pucks to the net, getting bodies to the net, and then also finding a way to hit the net from all sorts of areas, right? Behind the net, up top, off the rush. We have to hit the net, and we have to have someone in front of the net um, at all times. So let me know how practice goes. I hope the uh, video uploads okay.